boy, we are back and we are in San Denis and we are going to see if we can find some news or some 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 dirt on Bronte. This Bronte dude, Angelo Bronte, and uh, I don't know where we should go. I think I want to go this way. And now when we are in a big city, ooh, new horses. <laughs> I just wanna go and look at the horses first. Uh, just gonna let this man pass. It's nice to look at new horses. Here's a new stable right here. So hello. Just wanna see what's in there. Probably won't buy. I don't Welcome think so anyway. Oh, we can't buy. Damn. Okay, we're gonna have to sell someone. I'm sorry, Bonnie. It's time. You did good. We had so much fun. Sure. But yeah, but. With nag like this. Okay, let's see now. We have an Okoda, and they're gorgeous, but she, they're tiny. It's so tiny. Al Arthur is basically riding a pony. Then we have a Turkoman, and I would love a Turkoman, but I want like a, like a seal brown Turkoman <laughs> that is in uh, a cl oh, that we won't get until the epilogue, which is sad. Uh, so not this one. And then we have this Black Arabian here. And I don't do a radio. So these are basically the horses you can find here in Saint Denis. You need a break from that horse. They're Sorry. always welcome back. Uh, but we're going this way. Because now we're going to find the Brontes. But yeah, when we're in the city, you don't ride past. Because <laughs> uh, people get mad at nothing here. And you can easily trample, trample someone. And oh, there's so much. Sorry. No, we haven't seen Gavin. Now bye. Bye bye. I need to get going. Come on, we can ride a little faster. There's so many people. Yeah. Ain't no place for hillbillies like you in town no more. Okay. It's pretty rude. And here you are not only having to be careful of people and carriages and all that, now you also have to be careful of uh, big... Oh yeah. What do you call them? I don't know what you call them. I thought you were going to the other side. What do you want? I don't... I can't remember. Trolleys? No? I don't think trolleys. You, you'll see them. We'll probably pass one soon. You see this here? Hey. No? Bye. I'm busy. <laughs> and there are like policemen everywhere. Oh god, I, I am not enjoying this city at all. It's not even pretty. Hello. Okay, we are going here. Don't know where to hit you up though. Oh my god. Get up. Hello. <laughs> oh, we're actually going down here. Here we can hit your That's right. You rest up. Oh, he's gonna fall out. No? Okay, good. I fixed that. <laughs> for a man called Bronte. Have you heard of him? Don't know who you're talking about. Okay, never mind. Okay. Hey, friend, I I'm new in town. Supposed to be meeting a man called Angelo Bronte. Any idea where I might find him? Not in here, that's for sure. If he wants to drink anywhere, it would be the, the Bastille Saloon opposite the park with the Quincy Harris statue. Appreciate it. Just yeah. watch yourself. He's got quite the reputation. Okay, there you're, you're at. Mm-hmm, 
Okay, we're going to the... Wait, so we're going... here. Okay. Okay, let's see now. Can I turn without anyone getting trampled? Right on. There it is! The thing you do not want to be in front of when it comes. <laughs> not nice. How are we today? Oh, I'm fine, miss. Thank you very much. Stop! You've got the answer to the law! Law don't scare me! Oh, hell. The law will make you pay! What happens? Oh! Ow! That's how a lawman solves a problem. Okay. By beating someone up? That, that ain't nice. Damn right, you got any oh my god, I can't see anything. <laughs> there we go, thank you. Monsieur? I wanna turn, I wanna turn. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I don't want to mess thing, mess everything up here and make someone angry. Okay, we can tie her up here. Stick him up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. From what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here or not. Okay. Yeah. Hi. <clears throat> yeah. Hello, sirs. <laughs> Pretty, pretty sus. Why do you should say that? Well, you know how it is. I told him. I hey, said, I get a drink in the morning for you. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> that, that, over that's here. why we love it. Born and raised. Mm. Well, I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I, I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. Yes. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Right, thank you. So, Mister, can I ask you a question? Yeah. You ever hear of a fellow by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you're in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. Okay. I'm so sweaty, a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know I get. Okay. Oh, hey, friend, you, you be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Sure. Hi, sir. I guess you gotta just learn to live that. Just gonna check something. Okay, let's get going. Come on now, this sulking doesn't become you. 
You always have to be right, don't you? I'm just giving you the correct use of the word. If your feet... Pardon me, but have you seen any kids around this way? Yeah, I think I heard a few in the other courtyard up ahead. You can get through on the left there. Thank you. So are you done with the silent treatment now? No. <laughs> no. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. Italian. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. What? <laughs> That's a bad brat. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baron and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, <laughs> you little pair of shits! Yeah, this is a fun little chase that we're gonna get going now. That is going fast. I'll kill you, thieving bastard. Bastard got off. Ah, oh, damn street trash. You up at that kid? How the shit went that way? Thanks for the help, friend. Where'd he go? You know, I kind of miss old Bob Ted. Hey, you see a kid about 14 years old run through here? Why, yes, we did. He went around the corner there. Thanks a lot, mister! You better stop right now! Hey! Moron! Where'd he go? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Ah! Good morning to you, sir. Doggy! Did hurt. <clears throat> this is your last warning, boy. Excuse oh, me. Sorry. What's the matter with you? I haven't got this net for I'm telling you, a cucumber is definitely a fruit. Since when? Since forever. 
talking about friend I ain't your friend but that kid is and he robbed from me now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte Senor Bronte that kid was gonna show me before he robbed me now <gasps> come on you new in town mister come on mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends mister but I ain't never seen you we ain't friends you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why he gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. Well, you and your friend should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yoko. Now, get out of here. Hmm. Junior Mafia. Lovely. Weird horse, weird places to hitch horses. <laughs> I feel like he's gonna be in the way either way. Oh boy, hi Dutch. Where you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> Junior Mafia. I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John, you meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. Oh boy. <clears> hmm. <throat> <sighs> I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. Mm -hmm. Very true. Okay, what do we have? We have apparently some stranger mission there. We have Dutch over there. We have that over there, and at we have uh, Mary Beth. <gasps> oh yeah, right. Um, but let's start. Really? Hmm. What else we have that? I don't think we're gonna do these anymore because they're not. We don't really need the money, and uh, the ones that are now here are just pretty annoying, and I don't want to do them. <laughs> yeah, but we are pretty close to this stranger mission, though. The artist way. Oh, it's him. Um, no, no, we're not gonna do that. No, we are focusing on story quest. So let's. Head to Dutch and try to get Jack back. Uh, buenos dias. Buenos dias. Okay, I said that we were going to focus on story quests, but here's actually a stranger, which I think is pretty fun. Uh, it shows a tiny bit of a different gameplay in this one, which I really, really enjoy. So let's see if we can go in here. Can we go? No? Can we go around now? Come on. Around here, and no, don't think I've seen here, so I just really want her to feel safe. Ooh. Eat some grass. Down here is a fun stranger mission. You 
okay, bud? Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, help me, please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you, some kind of uh, European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ice, like I say. Hello? Do I look like I should entertain children? No. No, he says. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> the one the silver tongue American betrayed and not paid the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius, of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. <laughs> yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity in ways you cannot see. Good for you. <laughs> Good ways for I you. cannot see. And still, the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. <laughs> Ladies, <laughs> gentlemen, <laughs> oh, <shanté. laughs> uh, hello, hello, sir. <laughs> okay, uh, how is the piles? Yeah, good, good, good. Okay, uh, my friends, you are about to witness history, a demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You. You are old. Aww. But maybe I can make you immortal. Yeah. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see, I will power this You're boat. a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon dressed up like a buffoon is a stoolie. I watch them conspire, you morons. I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? So, Professor. Show us your magical toy boat. Only this time let the buffoon control. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, it is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and uh, don't touch that. Yeah, so this is what Use these ones fun. to steer, and uh, this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now, now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mites. They have magnets attached. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the bot. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have certificate. You see what he does? No wire like telegraph, but only system underwater, only waves in the air. This is remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the HL Hamlet. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Lusitana. And what a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned human machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life. Not death. Transmigration of the soul. I make lifeless metal breathe like man. Well, I'm not sure about that. Boop. There, all gone for you. <laughs> yes, you see what he does? Now bring the boat back to the dock. That sure was something, but I'm not sure what, if anything, was proven here. <laughs> Let me just reload her. <laughs> this is. Really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> uh -huh. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of park, still avoiding magnetic mites. Oh, he'll attempt to at least. Shush! 
You're not here for this smart bomb. Oh, no. It's still alive. The steam train. The telegraph machine. The motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. What? No, just rays in the air. Like the voice of God. And funding what? from no. us. And funding from you, of course. But what thing to fund? What an opportunity! No one is stupid enough to pass this up. Not even him with here. Hey! You really all work on your salesmanship. Ah, Americans! All you think about is sales! Look who rules the seas! Very Ooh. good! Very good! Now bring in the boat back here. Foolproof! Undeniably foolproof! But you are not fools. <laughs> As I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. <laughs> it's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab back at Dover Hill. <laughs> that will astound all of you. <laughs> Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is, it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Yeah. Um, <coughs> I we'll hope see you if will we'll forgive go there. my... Uh, well, yeah, I just had to show you, because that, that quest is pretty funny. Now we're going to Dutch, but I think I'm actually ending it here because I realize I've been playing a little bit over half an hour and if I add this, it's going to be... Yeah, it's just going to go away. So I ended it here already today and uh, remember to stay awesome as always and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!